What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So what we got going today is this. You guys know, this is my favorite thing. This is honestly, like my team is fun. Don't get me wrong, my team is fun. But it takes, it's too time consuming and I don't enjoy it as much. I enjoy playing these games. I enjoy like the thought of potentially playing with a great player. When you go into my team, you're going in with your same garbage squad. And before we get into this, if you guys could all do me a favor and drop a like on the video. You guys' like support on this series has been insane. That is why it has been able to sustain for a couple months now. It's just so important. I love it. I love seeing that you guys enjoy it. That's honestly what I live for. Let's see if we can. I just, I have a feeling it's going to be a great pull. I have a feeling it's going to be a great pull. I just, I got that gut feeling. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. A red Kendall Gill shooting guard. So we have two shooting guards right now and a very high overall team. A very, very high overall team. Second pull, what do we got? We're gonna get a gold, that's cool. Are you In this business, you can't really expect too much. We got a, st oh no. <laughs> okay, Damar. Damar is gonna have to be the rebound king. Damar is gonna have to get a lot of rebound. Rebounds. I need to pluralize that. Rebounds. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the gameplay. The comments lately, you guys, and I know you wouldn't, like the one thing I've learned about YouTube, if you're not good, no one's gonna tell you that you're good. The one thing I have learned about YouTube for sure is that exact fact. So when people start telling you that you are getting somewhat good, they mean it because people love telling you that you're bad. People love telling you that you're not good. So if someone's willing to take the time out of their day and say, you know what TD, you're not that bad anymore. It actually means I'm not that bad anymore. Thumbnail still. My face right there was just that summed up my reaction perfectly to what had just happened. Oh my gosh, that was the weirdest thing. And there, this guy's really, really good on defense. You can tell, by the way, during with screens, he backs up. Like, he just knows what he's doing. And that needs to change, and it is going to DeMar hit the shot. Good stuff. Five to five, cue the comeback. I just had a terrible start. Like, the start of it was just so bad for me. I was not feeling good at all. Was not feeling good about it at all. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That means he, they don't get the basket. Good job. Nice job. Dish it over. Nice find over there, guys. Nice find. You know you have guys who can hit threes on this team. So whenever you drive, you always have to be like, you always have to know when you drive if you see two people come to you. That is my job. As soon as you see that second guy come, you find the open guy and you let it rip. Like right here. Let's see, two people come. DeMar DeRozan for three, and I need to hit that shot though. Like that's a wide open three, and if I hit that, I set myself up literally perfectly for the game. And in terms of playing defense on him right now, I'm going with a pretty conservative approach. I'm not going too crazy. I feel like he's gonna give me that basket, but I don't really feel super comfortable with Steve Blake down there in the paint, and that's why I probably should've went for it though. Okay, so here we go, I'm gonna try a quick like kind of speed thing to get Steve Blake a basket. Just that off the inbounds, a lot of times they get too aggressive and you can get away with that. Okay, 10-10, play scrappy here. Play scrappy and get the help. I love when that happens. That happens to me all the time and it's so nice when it happens to somebody else. Okay, this is a huge opportunity we have been handed here. A huge opportunity that we have been handed. Okay, go Steve. They're playing off on you, Steve Blake. They're, they're scared of you. They're scared of you, but they should really be worried about DeMar. They're scared of you, but they should be worried about that absolute hired gun over there in DeMar DeRozan. Now, they're going to try and force a three here. I can almost guarantee they are going to try and force a three or try and come inside. And I've been able to guard both of those. Like, look at this defense. Look at this defense. This is like... Late in the season defense, but I'm starting to learn what to do. Oh, Damar, I don't want to shoot that. I should have shot it. Nice, nice job, Steve. Oh, we didn't get that? You're telling me we didn't get that? I thought we had the steal right there. I thought we had the steal. Okay, Steve Blake, run in, draw the double team, easy mid-range. That should be, see, that should be easy buckets. That honestly should be easy buckets. It was just not. Okay, DeMar DeRozan, I was gonna take the one with him there, but like I don't feel super confident with the one. Let's run the three pass system. 
Oh, I should have taken this shot with Steve Blake. And I waited too long. I'm an idiot. I am an absolute idiot. Oh my gosh. Okay, 12 to 13. And in this situation, I always like to take twos. I always like to take twos to kind of like, just to scare him a little bit. Just so he knows I'm taking control of the game. Just so he knows I am taking control of the game. But I think I'm just going to go for the one here. I feel like I can get the one. So I'm going to go for it. I knew if I would have taken that three with DeMar, it would have been like a 40-60 ball. Meaning I make it 40% of the time. I miss it the other 60%. Now, at least I all I have to guard against is that. And oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm going to lose it. I hate when that happens. I absolutely hate when that happens. Okay, we're doing one more and I'm going to try and I'm going to take a big here. I'm going to go with my only diamond in Tim Duncan and see if we can like see if we can draft kind of a beast. I'm so sick of this. I am so sick of golds. Like I can't even explain to you guys. There's no words that I can use to explain how much I hate pulling golds. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just why every time and like it just sucks now I gotta add contracts like I don't want to purchase wait can I just add apply contract let's throw him a gold contract we have to win this game I have to find a way to win this okay so here we go obviously my number one threat is Tim Duncan I don't think anyone's like questioning who my best player on this team is it's Tim Duncan and I should be able to score a lot of points. Then my problem though is I don't got those J Canada post moves. I don't. I'm terrible in the post. I am disgusting in the post. I don't know if I've ever scored a post shot ever. I have one move, back in and then try and shoot. That's literally my only use. Poor Zingus, that was nice. That, that was mean in the same regard though. Like that was nice what you did. It was mean what you did as well though because you just absolutely broke my ankles. Okay, go in here. Wait for it. I kind of want to make this the quickest game ever. I kind of want to make this the quickest game ever. And like, whoa. What was that? Nice job. Wow. Tim Duncan's pretty smooth. But this has been like, I haven't been talking a lot. Because this game's disgusting. And I've kind of been playing down to my... You guys ever realize you, like, you play down to competition? I am 100% playing down to competition. And I was thinking about it like literally as I made that shot. I was like, if I keep doing this, I'm going to find a way to lose. And Isaiah Thomas just breaks some ankles, gets wide open, and I these golds that I have suck. They're really, really not good at all. And like, I'm going to be honest, they're just, they're just not what we need. They are not what I need to be able to win a game. But this matchup is exactly what I need. Tim Duncan on Isaiah Thomas. Like, that might be the biggest mismatch of all time. But my problem is I got Timmy down there. But Tim's got no one to pass the ball to outside. Absolutely nobody. Oh, no. Poor Zingis. He should have taken that shot. I'm surprised he didn't. He's been going for threes all game with poor Zingis. Oh, my gosh. These dribble moves are nasty. Those dribble moves are honestly nice. Like, I've never been so frustrated, I don't think. He's going to toy with me now. He's got the nerve to toy with me now that he's making all these stupid Porzingis shots and I am not playing well. What a jerk. I do not like this guy at all. I honestly do not like this guy at all. Okay, please take the shot with Isaiah. Please get greedy and just go for twos and then miss. Please do that. Thank you. I honestly, if I win this, I'm going to like be the happiest guy in the world Timmy he never hit shots and I know it's not his forte but like he's gotta hit some of those like I'm not asking for him to hit all of them but just some of those wide open three shots Duncan has to hit don't give up on me don't, don't, don't mess, don't toy with me, man. I, I don't like that. I don't like it when people just start like running around, just like, oh, I'm going to win easy. This game's easy. Let me just pretend that I'm getting like, like, let's pretend that I'm trying to take a charge all the time. That's the stuff 
that drives me insane. He's working it around here, trying to find a three. So desperately, so desperately trying to find a three. Okay. Oh my God. If I can win this, I'm going to be so happy. If I can win this, I am going to be so incredibly happy. Okay. Wait for it. Oh, go right there. Back to the man, the goat, the legend, but Timmy's got it. Tim Duncan, he draws attention too. Tim Duncan draw. McKee is legit useless. Like the other guy is like not completely, but like McGee is completely useless. Like a hundred percent. He might just deserve to win this just because of that one. Because I think that honestly might be the difference. Oh, that's only a one. Yeah, my time is done. My time is done here. He's gonna try and hit the two to win. Ugh! I hate everything. I hate this game mode. I hate this chair. I'm done with everything, you guys. And I, I, when I do these videos, I show both games. Because you guys come on a journey with me. It's like a journey because I don't, I don't just show wins. I don't just show losses. I show you guys all of my games. And I'm so frustrated with that one. It's not even funny. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.